Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Data Tech. I'm your host, Anand Kumar. In this video, we're going to discuss about the secondary indexes in DynamoDB. Let's right jump into it. To understand the concept and necessity of secondary indexes, let's consider a scenario. Let's say we have a DynamoDB table name order, which we can see on the screen in which we have a partition key and a sort key. So the primary key is basically a composite key, which have a partition key and sort key. The partition key is a username and sort key is the order. And in this table, we, we, we want to fetch the items where the email address is marks at example.com. So in Dynam DynamoDB, there are two methods for fetching or retrieving the data from the table. One is querying and the second one is scanning. The query operation allow us to fetch items from a table using primary key. And it comes with various uh, options such as we can um, like equality or you can do range on the primary keys. And now the second option comes which is scanning and scanning retrieves non-key attributes. So for uh, like for our requirement, this fits well, but there is a problem with scanning it like scanning. It scans a whole table, which is inefficient and uh, costly too. So imagine if our table have millions of records and if you want to fetch um, uh, certain non key attributes, then in that case, like it, it's not a good idea. Hence, we need we need secondary indexes to perform such data retrievals using query. So indexes, what it do, it basically give us an alternative structure to the data and from where we can query it. So now let's look into the secondary indexes. So there are two types of secondary indexes. One is LSI, that is local secondary index, and second is the global secondary index. So a local secondary index uh, is an index that must have the same partition key, but a different sort key from the base table. And it is considered local because each partition of the local secondary index is bounded by the same partition key of the base table. And it must be created when we are creating our base table and here the primary key always be composite because uh, as we are using the same partition key here and as we can look into this image like our order table when we created the local secondary index on it so we are using the same partition key but we change the short key so previously the short key was order id now we make it to the total and now let's try to understand global secondary index a global secondary index is an index that has a different partition and sort key from the base table. And it is not bounded with the base table partition. So we can say it is not uh, uh, shared or it, it does not share any structure with the uh, base table. It's It will be a totally different and it can be created anytime. It's not like a local secondary index where it has to be created at the time when we are creating the base table. And here the primary key, it could be uh, it could be either like it could be a composite primary key or it could be a simple partition primary key. And as we can see in the image here, uh, like base table is this order table and where partition key is username and order ID. But when we are creating a global secondary, uh, we change our partition key and short key both. So that's all for this video. Stay tuned for upcoming video where we'll do the demo on the basic concepts of DynamoDB along with indexes. Thank you.